Hey everyone, it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office. And today I'm out at PHSC out in Dade City and you guys are going to have the pleasure of meeting the NMO class 19-2. And the reason that I do wanna bring this class to you is because there are 17 individuals that are in this NMO, but there are four females. There are two of them that are gonna be going to the road, two that are gonna be going to the jail, but I just thought that it was interesting. A lot of you did comment that we had absolutely no females in the last class, so I figured, why not? right? DT is defensive tactics. We're gonna see what they're diving into or diving onto. That sounded really weird, but stay tuned. back again with Corporal Eric Rusino, who is here with the NMO class 19-2. Already started another one. Already started, they're two weeks deep. I was sick the very first day, so you guys didn't get to meet them in like, the, you know, they're really nice, not formal, we're business wear. I was- Professional attire. Professional attire, I was out sick, I apologize. So you will meet them soon, because I'm not gonna show you guys them today. They've been rolling around, it's uh, they're hot, sweaty, so is Corporal. Down and dirty. Down and dirty. So what have they done today? What will the people see today? Uh, so, all right, so today was day one of uh, defensive tactics. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a day and a half of it. Ooh. They got a lot more during the academy, but uh, we just go back over FDLE stuff. Uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, uh, stuff, stuff from their curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, handcuffing, uh, baton strikes, stuff like that. But then we also go a little bit farther, and we, we have two uh, level two Gracie Academy instructors. Shout out to the Gracie family. Uh, so we do Gracie survival tactics, a whole bunch of ground fighting. So. A lot. I've only been here for a couple hours, half a day, guys, and it is intense. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I don't know where I was. It's I fun. I think you're uh, going to say that you enjoy it. It's yeah. fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's real life application stuff, which is. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, we were talking. I may actually come out to a class, an NMO class, and do everything physical that they do. Possibly. I've been trying to get her to. So. Hold on, because again, guys, we've discussed this. If I do everything they do, I might as well go on the road. But granted, we had the conversation. I'd have to go to the academy, FTO, so it's not the it's same. Not a shoe in. It's not the same. Now, he's here and there. I'm going to take this hand, grab his back. I'm gonna pull him this way. I need space over here. So I'm gonna grab the back, grab the shirt, and pull. I'm gonna wiggle this arm out. It might take a little bit. Get it out. Elbow right here to this leg. This my, one's already on the ground. My immediate reaction is to kind of help him. Because he wants to pin this down. He thinks I'm trying to get it loose. Straighten up to buy space. It also allows me to breathe. If I put me.
So I hope you got to enjoy what you saw from DT today. Uh, we do have our four females, but I did not think that it was quite fair to introduce anyone today because you got to meet the first class for the first time. I just want a photo bomb. <laughs> That's all. It happens, guys. It's the regular. But I just wanted to uh, give them all a chance to not have been completely sweaty and intense and rolling on the round all day before you guys actually met any of them, not just the females, the guys too, because females are certainly holding their own today. But considering you got to meet the last class on their very first day and they're like suits and ties and everything. So if you guys haven't already done, if you guys haven't already done, if all of you haven't already done it so far, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. And uh, here's a 19-2.